Hi, today's video is going to be on drum kit setup. So, I know there's a ton of videos of how to set up your drum kit, and I think that most of them are actually wrong. And I'm going to say that, it's a bold statement, but I think most drummers actually don't know how to set up their own drum kit efficiently, ergonomically, and correctly. Now, I'm going to do a whole series of videos on this, so this is just the first one. But today, we're going to compare uh, three drummers' kits over the course of a couple of decades. So, the drummers are going to be Vinny Caliuta, Dave Weckl, and Steve Gadd. Of course, the best drummers that there are, uh, I mean, that's debatable, but they're in the top elite tier. There's no way to doubt that. Um, and basically, the way they set up their drum kits, I'll show you in a second, is not the best way, not the most ergonomic way, but it's sort of the way that is popular at the time. And uh, drummers follow trends just like any other industry. Um, it's almost like fashionable to set up your drum kit a certain way and not another. And that fashion isn't based on what's best for the drummer, it's just based on what everyone else is doing. So if you think your drum kit is set up correctly because that's the way you see other people doing it, you're probably wrong. Everyone is wrong. Um, and I'll demonstrate that. So um, I know, again, this is a bold statement, but I think I'll be able to demonstrate it over the course of the next several videos. So check this out. So here's Vinny Caliuta's drum kit from 1989. You can see the toms are quite high. The ride cymbal is ridiculously far off the uh, second rack tom there. He has to seriously reach to get it. And his drums are very highly angled. So he probably at the time thought this was the best for him. But check out this next kit. So here's Steve Gadd's kit, also from 1989. You can see he has the same high angled toms. He has the same ride cymbal way off the second rack tom, way higher than he could comfortably reach. And it looks almost identical to Kaliuta's kit. So he probably, again, thought this was the best for him at the time, but it seems like it's the same. And here's Dave Weckl's kit, again, from 1989. You'll notice that he has pretty highly angled toms, uh, and that ridiculously high off the second rack tom ride cymbal, again. So it's almost the same kit as the other two guys. He also probably thought this was the best for him, but how could it all be the best for all of them? So Vinny, Steve, and Dave don't have the same length arms. They're not the same height. There's no way that their kits should look exactly the same. And they don't play the same way either. They're totally different styles. However, they set up their kits exactly alike just because that was how you did it in 1989. Something seems fishy about this. So let's look at their kits from roughly 20, 25 years later and see what happened. So here's Vinny's kit from, I think, 2012, and you can see the toms got lower and flatter. The ride went a little bit to the right, but mostly came down by like a foot and a half, and now it looks a lot easier to play. So did he just decide this, or maybe that's just how drums are set up now, but it's definitely different than 89. So here's Steve's kit from relatively recently. You can see that his toms are actually still pretty high. They're still pretty highly angled, but his ride cymbal did come down a little bit. He actually changed the least from 1989 to this current picture. So uh, maybe he actually did like how his drums were set up in 1989. That sort of makes sense now. So here's Dave Weckl's current kit, and uh, it looks much easier to play. The ride cymbal came down again like a foot and a half. Um, it overlaps the tom now. Both toms move left and down. They're a little bit uneven, but it sort of makes sense for the way that Dave plays. And so this looks so much easier to play. It's ridiculous compared to 89. So in conclusion, you can see that only Steve Gadd actually kept his drums set up today the way that he liked them in 1989. So Dave Weckl and Vinnie Caliuta were both elite drummers in the 80s and they're elite drummers today, but they were going off of the trend in 89 rather than off of what they actually liked their drum kit to be set up as. So if you're doing the same thing, you're not alone, but you're still wrong.